Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five books for computer engineers. So let's get started. Let's say the number one book that you'll be using or probably should use as a computer engineer is uh, called Introduction to Algorithms. And this is mainly because you'll be taking a lot of computing courses or courses that uh, involve the fundamentals of computing or the foundations of computing, whatever it may be, of a software or a program. Introduction to Algorithms is perfect for computer engineers because of that. Um, I know that I had used it multiple times in my undergraduate degree. So I had used it for, I think, a software engineering class that I had taken and then a um, the foundations of computing class that I took. And then I think another one was advanced mathematics for engineers. From what I remember, it contains a lot of um, information about the time it takes for a certain program to run. So like the big O notation, little O notation and showcasing the different techniques you could use to optimize that program or that software so that it runs efficiently. The next one I'd suggest is the C programming book. And I think I may have already suggested this in a previous video when I talked about the top uh, five or top six books for programming. Um, and this is good for computer engineers as well because computer engineers will be taking a little bit more programming courses than electrical engineers, for example, and will need a little bit more um, experience and exposure to programming in general. And I think C is a very universal language. A lot of people know what that is because it's widely used in the engineering world and for um, computer science people as well. So that's a good book to have um, and to use. The next one I suggest is Modern Operating Systems. And the reason why I suggest this is because with computer engineers, we wanna be able to know how the computer works. And so that involves not only how it's built and how it's made up, but also the OS, the operating system of a computer. So something similar to Introduction to Operating Systems is a class that you'll probably be taking as a computer engineer. And same goes for uh, computer science people because you'll also need to learn how the software that computer works and uh, that is a very integral part of basically uh, computer engineering and computer science so this book would be very helpful in that case and I had used it a couple of times too in my operating systems class that I had to take as a undergraduate student. So that's a good one. The next one I'd suggest is computer networks. And this is more specific for just computer engineers who have taken the software track. So that's what I had done. I was a computer engineer and I chose a software track. And because of that, uh, I needed to take some networking courses because I guess that's just part of the program. Um, I'm not really sure why, but at any rate, um, I did have to take an introduction to networks and then advanced uh, networks class later on. Those classes involved this book called Introduction to Computer Networks, and then it was like a top-down approach. I think that was the rest of the title. And I think I had already mentioned this also in a previous video, but it is a very good book. It is very insightful. It gives a lot of information about the networks between the different computers, um, like things such as the three handshake or the handshake between two different computers. And if you don't know what that is, that's like a, uh, a computer that's the sender. It wants to send something to another computer. It'll first send a signal to that uh, receiver computer and then if it receives it it'll send a notification saying okay yes um, I'm available uh, you can send me something and so it'll send that back to the sender computer and then the sender computer will be like okay now I know that this receiver is available so I can now send it a package and that's why it's called a three-way handshake because you go from the sender to the receiver and then from the receiver to the sender so it's a total of three one two three and that's that's basically it so the next one I'd suggest is elements of reusable object oriented software and I think from what I remember this is about uh, software oriented programs such as C sharp and maybe Java? I'm not too sure, but I know that it, it focuses on um, basically object-oriented programs and how to program in that kind of a format. So in a previous video, I talked about a certain car. So you have an object like a car, and then you have different sizes, different colors of that car, and that's all part of that object car. Um, and you can have various objects such as that, 
or you know like a like a pencil there's different kinds of pencils there's a number two pencil and then there's a pen you know something that you write with could be the object and then the pencil is part of that object and then the pen is the other part of that object that's just kind of what that book is about and it's also very helpful for computer engineers because I did have to take integrated software systems class and so we had to run object-oriented programs and define the different objects and how they're associated with each other if they're a base class or a parent class. This book helped a lot with that so uh, I'd suggest this one as well especially if you're taking classes that involve object orientation. The last one probably be the elements of computing systems and I've never used this book but I have heard a lot of good reviews from it. it contains information about the computer, how it runs and operates. I have heard other people who have used it and they found it very helpful. So that would probably be another one for computer engineers. So yeah, that's all I have. Um, if you guys like this video or if you found it helpful, please let me know in the comment section down below and thanks for watching. Bye.